Hello and welcome to Revis Explained. Today we are launching a new series on our channel that will sort of expand our portfolio, as in that series, we will time to time, in addition to classical railways, deal with the urban systems of worldwide cities. Of course, we will be focusing on our area of expertise, which is urban rail systems, rail suburban systems and metro systems. We partnered in this regard with EIT Urban Mobility, a European Institute of Innovation and Technology, an initiative that since January 2019 is working on encouraging positive changes in how people move around cities to make them more livable places. EIT Urban Mobility has also launched the Urban Mobility Explained, UMX YouTube channel that has explored the current urban mobility subjects through short educational videos produced across Europe and abroad. Check out their channel and consider subscribing, because if you're interested in these topics, believe us when we say you'll discover a lot of new information. We've included a link for their channel in the video description. Following various potential collaboration opportunities with these folks, we decided to make two complementary videos on a similar theme, namely Istanbul's mass transit system. As soon as you watch our video, we recommend you watch their video as well to gain some completely new insights into this interesting topic. One of our very first videos on the channel was about the Marmaray project in Turkey, which we recommend you watch if you didn't. Istanbul is the largest city in Europe, surpassing Moscow and London with approximately 16 million residents. In addition, some big data estimates say that there are approximately 20 million individuals in Istanbul on any given day. So, Istanbul represents a country in its own right, because it is larger than 20 European nations. To ensure the efficient mobility of people, it was necessary to implement mass transportation systems that meet the demand and transportation needs. Istanbul's public transportation system comprises the metro, suburban rail, tram, funicular, cable car, metro bus and bus system. The city is divided in two by the Bosphorus Strait, crossed by ferry systems and physical connections via the Bosphorus Bridges, the Eurasian Tunnel and the Marmaray Railway Tunnel. To illustrate the magnitude of demand, Metro Istanbul, the largest urban rail system operator in Turkey that operates the Metro, Tram, Funicular and Cable Car lines, transported 756 million passengers only in 2022. The day with the most passengers conveyed in 2022 was October 6th with 2.9 million transported passengers. While there were 543 million passengers on Istanbul's metro lines, there were 208 million on its tram lines. During the year, 5.5 million people traveled on funicular lines and 2 million on cable car lines. The focus of our video will be on their fantastic metro system, which has been in operation for 34 years and is being constantly expanded over the years. It is characterized by the prolongation of the completion of the works, because first and foremost, whenever they put the ash into the ground, they discover an archaeological site, causing the works to be frequently halted. The Istanbul metro system is a crucial part of the city's transportation system, providing fast, safe and convenient transportation to millions of passengers every day. The total length of the network is about 200 kilometers, with 10 lines in operation, of which 9 are under the responsibility of Metro Istanbul, while the M11 line is under the jurisdiction of TCDD a government-owned railway company responsible for the operations of most passenger and freight rail in Turkey. Due to the city's unique geography and the depth of the Bosphorus, none of the current Istanbul metro lines crosses the strait, and they are wholly located either on the European side or the Asian side of the city. After 2013, the existing metro lines are physically connected, after the completion of the Marmaray project. 
The project involved building a 13.6 km long tunnel under the Bosphorus, but also upgrading 63 km of suburban railway lines to create a high-capacity passenger line between Gepze on the Asian side of Istanbul and Halkali on the European side. In addition, this amazing transport project included the construction of three new underground stations, Yenikapi, Psirkeci and Ushkudar, and the construction of 37 surface stations. The oldest line in the Istanbul metro system is the M1 line, which consists of two services, M1A and M1B. Both services run on the same line from Yenikapi to Otogar, with M1B branching off to Kirazli, while M1A continues on the original line to Istanbul at Turk Airport. With 23 stations, including 11 underground and 3 elevated, the M1 line spans 26.8 km. The electrification system is 750 volts DC and the operating speed is 70 km per hour. It serves approximately 360,000 passengers daily, making it a vital transportation artery of the city. The M1 line began service in 1989 between Aksaray and Kochatepe. The last expansion was from Aksaray to Yenikapi, inaugurated in 2014, allowing connections with the M2 line and Marmaray commuter rail service in Yenikapi station. Since this line is the oldest modern rail line in Istanbul, it has relatively old vehicles, produced by ABB in 1988. Another major line in the Istanbul metro system is the M2 line, the network's busiest line with almost half a million daily passengers. It has 16 stations with all but one being underground, and a total length of 23.49 km. The M2 line also has a branch line to the Seyran Tepe district from Sanayi Mahalesi station. The electrification system used is also 750 volts DC with a third rail. Construction started in 1992 and the commissioning of the first stage between Taksim and Levent was done in year 2000. In 2014, with the completion of the Golden Horn Metro Bridge, the M2 line became fully operational from Yenikapi to Hachi Osman. At Yenikapi station, passengers can transfer to the M1A and M1B metro line, but also Marmare, making it a key interchange point in the whole metro system. This line utilizes 160 Hyundai Rotem and 20 Alstom trains. The M3 line is another significant addition to Istanbul's metro network, with a length of 17.4 km and 13 stations. Construction of the M3 line began in 2006 and it officially entered service in 2013. The recent northern extension to Kaya Shehir Merkez was opened in April 2023. The electrification system is 1500 volts DC with an overhead line and the operating speed is 80 km per hour. 80 Alstom Metropolis train sets operate on this line with a daily number of passengers of about 57,000. The M4 line was the first rapid transit line operating on the Asian side of Istanbul. The M4 line is a 33.5 km long with 23 stations running between Kadiköy and Sabiha Gokchen Airport. Construction started in 2008 and opened in 2012, providing a faster and more efficient mode of transportation for passengers. The electrification system of the M4 line is 1500 volts and the operating speed is 100 km per hour. The daily ridership of the line is about 220,000 passengers. The 144 CAF trains provide transportation service on the line. What's interesting about the M4 line is that some of its stations, namely Kadikuy, Ayrlik Cheshmesi, Una Alan and Gostepe, are situated below sea level, making them a unique and impressive feat of engineering. Moreover, in 2013, with the opening of the Marmaray service under the Bosphorus, Ayrlik Cheshmesi station was opened to allow passengers to transfer between lines on the Asian and European sides of Istanbul. 
Moving on to the M5 line, the second rapid transit line on the Asian side and Turkey's first driverless rapid transit line. The line's construction began in 2012 and all works were completed in 2011. M5 line is a 20 km line in the west-east direction with 16 stations between Ushkudar and Chekmekui and its connection line to the depot with 3 km of length. The electrification system of the M5 line is a 750 volts DC and the operating speed is 90 km per hour. The daily ridership of the line is about 220,000 passengers. 126 Mitsubishi train sets operate on the line. Next is the M6 line, the shortest of the Istanbul metro system, spanning only 3.3 km with 4 stations. The line opened in 2015 and serves an average of 14,000 passengers each day. The electrification system is 750 volts DC with a third rail and the operating speed is 80 km per hour. This line utilizes 12 Alstom trains. Next is line M7, the first driverless rapid transit line on the European side. Construction works on this line began in 2014. Stage 1, which runs from Mejdi Ökuy to Mahmud Bey, was completed in 2020, while Stage 2 from Yildiz to Mahmud Bey was completed in 2023. Line M7 is 20 km long and has 17 stations. Ka Itane and Ali Bey Kui stations are located on a viaduct, while the other 15 stations are underground. The operating speed is 80 km per hour. Yildiz is the deepest station on the Istanbul metro, located 71 meters below the surface. 80 Hyundai Rotem operates on this line and transports about 156,000 passengers each day. M7 line has integrated with line M2 at Mejdi Ökü station and line M3 at Mahmud Bey station. Line M8 is a fully automated driverless metro line that spans 14.27 km and has 13 stations, connecting the Bostanci railway station on the southern coast of Anatolian side to Parceler in the district of Umranje. The construction work started in 2016 and line was open for operation on January 2023. 40 Hyundai Rotem operates on the line. The line offers convenient connections to other metro lines, including the M4 at Koziata station and M5 at Dudulu station. Plus, you can easily transfer to C lines and C buses at Bostanci station, making easy exploring the city's waterfront. Moving on to line M9. This 5.9 km line has 5 stations and an average daily ridership of 16,700 passengers. The construction of the line started in February 2016 and the first stage between Bahariye and Olympia opened on May 29, 2021. The full opening is expected in 2023, extending the line between Olympiad and Atakui to a length of 17.4 km with 14 stations. The M9 line is electrified with 1500 volts DC overhead line and has an operating speed of 80 km per hour. At Tikiteli Sanai stations you can easily transfer to the M3 line, making traveling to the other parts of the city quite convenient. Finally, we come to the M11, which is one of the Istanbul's newest metro lines connecting Kaitane and Istanbul Airport. As already mentioned, the line is operated by TCDD. The line is designed to provide direct and quick access from Istanbul Airport in Arnavutkoy to Levant, Istanbul's main commercial center, and Halkali, one of the city's most important train stations. The M11 is unique compared to the other metro lines in Istanbul because it is a limited stop service, meaning that stations are spaced further apart. The line has two legs, one from Gayre Tepe to Istanbul Airport Line and the second from Halkali to Istanbul Airport Line. The first leg is 37.2 km long with 9 stations and the second is 31.5 km long with 7 stations making a total of 69 kilometers with 16 stations. 
When fully completed, the M11 will be one of the longest continuous subway tunnels in the world providing a comfortable and efficient means of transportation to locals and tourists. The line utilizes 176 CRRC Zhuzhou trains with a maximum operating speed of 120 km per hour. The Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality has several existing and planned projects for the expansion as part of its ambitious aim to increase the length of the rail transit network to 630 km over the next decade. The objective is to construct metro lines that provide access to the parts of the city not currently served by Istanbul's two coastline trains. Let's look at some of the planned and active expansions of the metro lines that are currently being worked on. The existing lines M3, 5, 7, 9 and 11 have their lengths being extended, while new lines M10, 12 and 14 are being built. Following the conclusion of the construction project scheduled to occur until 2025, the entire length of the metro system will increase by 128 km and 75 additional stations. The video prepared by the Urban Mobility Explained is precisely about how the Istanbul authorities are building several lines simultaneously. And we came to an end. Thank you for joining us on the first episode of our new series in which we are planning to explore urban rail systems worldwide. We are thrilled to have partnered with EIT Urban Mobility and we once again encourage you to check out their channel for more educational content. If you want to support Railways Explained, as you know, you can do it on Patreon or in our online store, links to which are provided in the description below. Please remember to like and share the video, but also help us reach 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to our channel. Until the next time, goodbye.